talk about why I like and why I use elixir strings and just to be completely honest with you I am an elixir artist uh, basically means that they can use my name and likeness um, on their promotional materials on their website or whatever and I don't get paid anything for that except I do get a box of strings every year uh, you know a box of acoustic set or electric set and I do get artist pricing which basically artist pricing while it is a good price for elixir strings it's still probably more expensive than if i were to buy diodario or uh, ernie ball strings in 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 mass um, i started using them years ago when they first came out i saw the advertisement on in guitar player magazine and shortly after that i visited them at the nam show and we just hit it off and they gave me an artist uh deal and I really didn't feel like I deserved it but I accepted it because I love the strings and it, it it gave me an opportunity to get them a little cheaper so I'll give you I, I've got six reasons I can think of why I like elixir strings uh, number one by far is I have acidic hand sweat um, I Ernie Ball was my string of choice but I'll tell you after about an hour of playing on them especially at a gig where I was nervous and sweating and all that it would they would just be dead and rusty it was unbelievable. I just would tear them up. Um, it's literally alien blood coming out of my pores here on my hand. So I, I discovered I, that's why I, I, I bought elixirs initially because that's kind of what they promised. And sure enough, I could get through a set, another set, another set, another gig, another gig, another gig. I could go literally weeks on a set of strings rather than just a day or two. So that was a huge bonus. It saved me a lot of money ultimately, even at paying retail price. Um, and then the second reason that I really like them is, is as you know, because I've been doing um, my uh, Why So Many Guitars series, uh, Why So Many Guitars Acoustic, Why So Many Guitars Electric, I've got a lot of guitars that, get, that sit around in my closet, um, a lot of tools, they, they're, they're loved and needed, but they oftentimes don't get used for six months or a year even. And so they'll be sitting in the closet, and before Elixirs, when I went to a session, um, if I knew I was taking my Rickenbacker 12 string, I'd better take that out of the closet and make sure the strings are okay. And a lot of times they weren't. A lot of times I'd have to change strings on several guitars the night before a big session. And that was just a pain and expensive. And so that wasn't good. But with Elixirs, the great thing is that when I go to pull that guitar out, I don't even have to look at it anymore. I'll just put it in the car and go to the session. I know pretty, pretty solidly will know that those strings are going to be fine for the session, okay? Um, another thing I like about them is one of the criticisms, criticisms they originally had was that they were a little dull sounding. Um, like I said, Ernie Balls or, or Diodarios would go dull on me pretty quickly. Um, and I kind of like that duller, kind of not too bright sound. I mean, Ernie Balls have that really bright sound, really round sound. I kind of like that, but at the same time, they kind of... Guitar strings tend to kind of wear into where they should sound, I feel like. And so, elixirs are pretty much that way the moment you put them on the, on the guitar. Particularly the, uh, the, the early ones with the, with the web, and I forget, the, they have a poly web, they have a nano web, and now they have the, I forget what the new one's, ultra web or something like that, even thinner coating. I don't mind the heavier web, um, uh, the, heavier, the heavier coating on, on acoustics in particular. On electrics, I do like the nano generally is what I go with now, now that they have that. Um, and so they're a little bit brighter, and they, but like I said, they stay that way. They stay the tone that you, when you put them on, pretty much until I break a string and have to, and when I break a string, I generally replace all of them, not just that one string. Um, and then uh, the other thing I, I like is that they tune up very quickly. It's one of the things I've noticed that when you're tuning, you have to tug and you pull and you do all that stuff, and then you play a, a song and they're out of tune and all that. Elixirs will tune up a, a little bit faster because they have that coating on the string that everything's already kind of more solid I feel like and when I put the strings on and tune them up stretch them once tune them again I'm pretty good to go and that's huge for time saver and just for you know the importance of being in tune all the time and I'm always checking my tuning don't get me wrong that's one of the things that I'm always doing live between songs and and in sessions I mean between takes I'm constantly checking my tuning 
Um, and so, because that's just one of those things, you don't want to have to redo a take because you're out of tune. But that's the nice thing about elixirs, I feel like if I want to put a new set of strings on right before, the night before, or even the day before, uh, the, the morning of a session or a gig, I know that they're going to stay in tune throughout that session and that gig. Um, the, also, a huge thing for me is when you're recording um, acoustic guitars, okay, a lot of times you have two mics on you. One will be over here on the sound hole, one will be on the fretboard, and it they pick up everything. Their condenser mics are going through compressors, they're, they, they you know, are picking up every noise and every squeak. And that's why I kind of like the polywebs for my acoustic guitars, because they're a lot quieter when you move. You know, one of those things you notice when you're trying to you, sh you slide up and all of a sudden you hear squeak, 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 squeak. That pretty much is, is minimized with elixirs or any coated string, to be honest. Uh, but elixirs in particular, I, I've noticed that, they, you know, that, that that squeakiness is minimized. If I were to put a, a regular set of strings on this guitar, you would definitely hear it. And that squeakiness gets amplified by the body of the guitar. So anytime I'm shifting or moving around, it was... Uh, it would cause problems and, you know, producers and engineers know that you, there's not a whole lot you can do about string squeak. Um, but as a classical guitarist, we learn to, to do different tricks to, to minimize that. Um, and uh, maybe I'll do a video on that at some point. Uh, but for the most part, it's part of what sounds like a guitar. So I don't mind a little bit of squeak, but if it's really loud, then it's a problem, okay? And then um, I the my sixth reason for... Um, for using elixir strings, in, or coated strings, but elixir strings in particular, are uh, that it's easier on the fingertips, okay? Because the, especially on acoustic guitars, if I'm using polywebs, it's almost like, not quite like playing flat wounds, but a little bit like that. There's a little bit less groove on the strings. Obviously, that's what keeps it from making so much noise, but also it keeps it from digging into your, into your pads on your fingers. So I feel like I can play longer, um, with less pain when I'm using elixir strings, okay? Um, a couple bad things, okay? I can give you a couple bad things. One thing, the packaging hurts my eyes. Uh, they won't change that. Uh, the other thing is, uh, years ago they did a test of nylon strings. And um, I really, really, really like the nylon strings. And I wish they'd kept making them, but I think they were having problems. I noticed that when you played them, that the... the um, the Gore-Tex would actually start to, to come off and it looked pretty ugly. Um, but boy, I tell you, I love those strings. They stayed in tune, they were quieter, which is always a struggle on nylon guitar. Um, and they know my opinion on this, that they need to bring back the nylon guitar strings. And I'll tell you what they did do for me, which was really cool because I was really into them, but they weren't even selling them anymore. So they sent me what they had left at the time. I think it was three or four boxes of them. And I gave a bunch of them away at clinics, and I, get, and I had a bunch of USC classical guitar students come by, and they loved them, so I gave them all sets. Um, so I kind of went through those pretty quick, and I don't have any anymore, and it's been very sad. Uh, but other than that, uh, elixir strings are what I use on my acoustics, my electrics, my basses, my mandolins, and my dobro, and my lap steel, and um, did I say banjo? On oh, my banjo. They don't make six, make six strings banjo, oh, but I do use them on my baritone guitars. They make baritone acoustics and electric sets. So they've got pretty much sets for everything, and you can buy single strings too. So um, it's basically the main ones that are, are benefiting from the um, uh, from the Gore-Tex of the, the, the uh, coating are the bottom four strings. And so uh, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. I hope you're doing well, and uh, God bless you all. Bye-bye.